We're here this morning at the Lincoln Memorial to visualize the crisis in our society, the crisis of income disparity. We know that between 1949 and 1979, everyone's income went up about 100%. Because of policy choices that we made starting in 1980, that is no longer true. And what we're going to see today is the shocking reality. We are being driven apart by the income disparity in our nation. And we, the people, are better than this. We can make a change. Here, look at what's happening. We have here five folks representing, each representing 20% of our population. That's called a quintile. It's a fancy name, but it's just 20%. Meg, you represent the top 20% of income families over the last 34 years. And I'm pleased to tell you that in this period, your income has gone up a little over 60%. So you're going to take one step for every 5% change. That means 12 steps up here at the memorial. OK? Go for it. Perfect. And Amanda, hi, how are you? I'm excited to tell you, you represent the next quintile. These are the folks between 60 and 80% of income. And during this same period, the same 34-year period, your income has gone up almost 30%. It's 28.6%. So you're going to take six steps up. Congratulations. All right, Logan, my man. You represent the beloved middle class. Everyone thinks they're the middle class, regardless of what their income is. But you, the actual middle class, between 40 and 60 percent of income in our nation, the actual middle class, their income went up 15 percent in this 34-year period. So you get to take three steps up. Ooh, very good. Diana, are you getting nervous? A little bit. You represent the next to the bottom, and in this same 34-year period, your income went up 6%. So you get to take one step up. Nicely done. Very good. Now, Rachel, oh, I hate to tell you this, but you represent the bottom 20%. And in this same period, your income went down almost 9%. So you have to take two steps down. Now look at this. We've got Meg way up there, more than twice the next category. And then we have folks at the bottom, Diana, who's only taken one step in 34 years. That's barely 5% change. And then we have folks at the bottom who've actually gone down in 34 years. This, there's something wrong here we think just looking at this and so I'd like to bring in my advanced class Juliana thanks for helping out you represent the top 5% in income which is part of Meg's statistic up there so you represent the folks at the top 5% who during the same 34 year period your income went up hundred and six percent you get 21 steps up Let's just count the steps all the way up. Whoa, she's disappearing. Mon chéri, you represent the top 1% in income in our nation during the same 34 year period. And during this time, I'm both delighted and horrified to let you know that your income went up almost 170%. You get 34 steps up. Happy hiking.
Look at this. This is what's wrong in our nation. Those in Mon Cherie's category way at the top are so far away from Rachel in her lived reality that Mon Cherie doesn't know the struggles at the bottom. And quite frankly, this whole gaggle of 80% that are so close together, they don't have a clue about Mon Cherie and Juliana up there. So they end up arguing with each other over little things. Little things like organizing a labor union or somebody getting a pay increase or fighting over transportation, little stuff, without ever seeing the big dramatic changes that are happening at the top. This is why it's so urgent. We've got to mend the gap so our people can be together. The other piece is Mon Cherie at the top. It's lonesome up there. It's frightening. It's why they have so many guards, so many gated communities, so many closed off sections of our society because they're afraid. We don't live like that. A democracy can't survive like that. We the people all together, that can be the difference. So let's mend the gap. Let's change this reality. Let's not take it all away from those at Mon Cherie at the very top, but let's learn to share. That's how we started. That's how we'll survive. That's the hope for our future. We can do this. Policies made this happen. Policies can make it change. Join us in trying to mend the gap. This is what's needed now.